hello and welcome to another video I'm very excited about this video today I've been waiting for this wing for some time now and it finally arrived and I had the chance to build it uh, the goal behind this video today is just to give you a build overview which means what parts I've used to build this what I've done with it and what kind of issues I face and how I solve them this would be good for those of you that ha that are planning on building this wing and it will help you to anticipate what kind of issues you might face and how to resolve them. So let me go ahead and start. This is the Sonic model AR Wing Pro. It's a one meter wingspan wing with a lot of uh, you know space for FPV gear. This is designed you know to be a long range FPV wing if you put the right stuff into it. So let me go ahead and start with what kind of equipment or parts I've used. I'll pick it up. I'm going to open the main hatch here. So as you can see, I've used here, I'm going to bring it close to the camera. This is a Maytech F765 wing flight controller. I've put it here in the main hatch. And as you can see, the ESC is also placed here in the main hatch. And somebody might think, why did he put it here? There is a reason for that. Why not in the back hatch like, you know, it's supposed to be. So again, in the in the main hatch, you have the Matic F765 wing flight controller. You have the ESC. This thing has pockets on the side, on the left and the right hand side. If you look at this side, you'll see I put an R9SX long range uh, receiver from FR Sky. And as you can see, I've, I've basically designed and 3D printed a mount for it. I'm going to share with, uh, with you uh, the design for this mount. If you want, just leave a comment uh, in the comments section. I'll be more than willing to email you the design for this uh, mount if you want to print it. In the other pocket, on the other side, as you can see, I've put the DJI air unit. And then the cable for the camera goes through a hole specifically designed for that till the front where you can basically mount the DJI camera. Again, another question might come about why did I choose to put the DJI unit here in the, on the side, not basically in the front. And again, there is a reason for that. I'll go through it. And I've also designed and 3D printed a mount uh, for the antennas for DJI air unit again I'm more than willing to share this with you guys so if you want this design uh, to 3d print it just drop me a comment in the comment section I'll be more than willing to email you uh, the file let's go to the back hatch and I hope everybody can see it here so there's also this hatch in the back and it has ample space to put gear in it. Uh, for me, uh, uh, I mean, again, I chose to put the ESC in the front, not in the back. And I'll explain why. There's a very nice uh, place here on top for GPS. Let me remove this piece of plastic so that you can see the GPS. I've put a GPS here. and then routed the cable to the Matec flight controller. So again, nothing, literally nothing in this, in this back hatch to put in. I just routed the motor cables to the front where I put the ESC. Now let me go through why I made those decisions, which is basically the main issue that I see in this wing. So what I'm using to basically power this wing is a 3800 4S LiPo. Let me show you the battery. This is what I'm using here. This is a beefy 3800 4S LiPo and I put it here in the front. So with this battery in the front, this wing is still very tail heavy you cannot really balance it. So uh, I've put the battery here and my ESC was in the back. I've put it, actually when I started building this thing, I put the ESC in the back 
compartment and I put the heavy battery here in the front but still it was extremely tail heavy so what I did was that I've moved the ESC a little bit forward here to the front hatch so that more weight is to the front which means I have to put less weight or less leads, uh, less lead in the front to balance it. If this ESC was in the back, I would have have I would ha I would have had to put like maybe 30 or 40 grams more in the front. As is now with the ESC in the front, the flight controller here, and nothing in the back. With that big battery, I had to put around 75 grams of lead here in the front. This is basically uh, a piece of foam that plugs into the front. Either you use this or you use this piece if you want to put the, uh, the DJI camera here. So inside this foam piece in the front, I've put 75 grams of lead to balance these things. Imagine. So if this ESC was in the back, imagine how much weight I have to put in the front. This is the first thing that this is the first thing I wasn't really happy about. But I mean with 75 grams weight I was able to resolve the issue. Now the second question that some of you might ask, why did I choose to put the DJI air unit here on the side despite the manufacturer recommendation to put it here in the center? And let me show you this hatch. So you have two hatches basically. The first one, this one, which goes in like this or you have the second hatch which is designed to basically house a DJI air unit so you put the air unit here on top and then the camera goes through this hole here and then you basically pull the camera from the front put it in this piece of foam and then plug this piece of foam in the front the reason I chose not to do this actually I've done it at first without realizing what the issue might be and then I removed it and I put it on the side. The reason is if you put the DJI air unit here on, on top and then route the camera to the front, the camera is connected to the air unit with a cable and this cable is short. The, 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 the stock cable that comes with the air unit uh, is short. So when you pull out this hatch to basically try and you know put a battery or maybe uh, look into the, the main hatch you cannot really remove this it's stuck like this it's really inconvenient to, to, to try and remove and put the battery literally the hatch will be like this you can open it only this much so it becomes really difficult to basically uh, manage the parts inside or basically to, to remove the battery and put another one and again this is because the air unit connects to the camera with a cable and then when you pull the hatch out you pull on the cable and the cable is very short so you really cannot lift this hatch to, 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 to a certain angle like this where you are comfortable to work with the gear inside it remains like this which is really inconvenient so what I've done is that I, I removed all the air unit altogether from here I've put it on the side and I decided to go with this cover and this way I can freely remove and put the cover back without any restrictions the downside to this is that uh, you know if you put the air unit here in the front it's a little bit more weight to the front so maybe less uh, lead you have to put in the front but still you have to put lead so those are the two main issues that I faced and I resolved so my, I mean, I haven't flown this wing yet. I haven't made them this wing yet. And I plan on doing that very soon. But from a build perspective, if you look at this wing, I really like it. I think it's a really nice wing with a lot of, you know, uh, nice design ideas behind it. So the pockets on the sides, that is a really nice, you know, uh, thing to add. The big compartments in the front and the back, you know, um, the, the the compatibility with the DJI system that's a nice thing the only two things I didn't like about it are basically the fact that if you decide to put the DJI unit where it should be put here on this hatch you're gonna have a lot of issues trying to open the hatch which is not really thoughtful so you end up having to put it on the side 
and the other thing is you know even with really big heavy batteries uh, you still have to put a lot of weight in the front and this renders this back hatch really useless you cannot put anything here in the back if you really want to put something here you have to expect or you have to basically make sure that you put more weight in the front um, with this current setup so uh, this flight controller with the ESC DJI system uh, those antennas 3d printed mounts the motor and everything else and this 3800 4s battery the all up weight is 1.1 kilogram okay so that is still uh, below the recommended you know maximum weight by the manufacturer which is around 1.2 kilogram um, so we're still in the green uh, I really like the way this wing looks looks very smooth and slick I like those 3d prints that I've made I've designed them basically using um, Fusion 360 and then I printed them on a 3D printer. Again, I'm more than willing to share them with you. Just drop me, a, uh, put a comment and I'm more than willing to email you those uh, designs. Um, that's it on my side. Uh, any questions, anything else that you have, you know, uh, any suggestions, please do make sure to leave a comment. And if you believe that this video has benefited you, uh, through the information I presented, please don't forget to click like and subscribe and you will be helping this channel a lot uh, if you purchase FPV gear from the shop in the description uh, with the link in the description below. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye-bye.